All right, before we get going on this, I, I want to show you one quick trick that's not super intuitive, and that is we've got our brush, our little weld brush here, and oh, we're so happy with it, and it's so nice. And we don't really want to have to go through and recreate it next time, right? So all you got to do is anywhere in here, right click over here, or right click over here, or over here, it doesn't really matter. So long as you've got your brush still selected, you can say Create Brush Preset. And then here we can see there's our, there's our new brush that we just made. So I can come over, right click again, and I'm just going to call this uh, my weld brush. A little underscore in there. And so it will now live wherever, there we go, weld brush. And if I want, I can just always come back to brushes and just type in weld. And there it will be forever and ever until I decide to delete it, if I were so inclined. If I made like a second version or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, we'll just add another black mask. Now we've got our, our weld brush selected. And the place where I think it would make the most sense for this to go, as you can see here, it's kind of in the creases. Now it may not really look that great in here. It should be doable though. So I want to try. Maybe this is a good place to put it. So I'm holding shift as I go around. It does feel kind of clean. And it is inheriting that sharp crease. That's in the low poly, so there's not a, not a huge amount we can do for that. But it's possible we can potentially kind of reduce that, that edge there, which is baked into the normal map. So I'm going to go over to my height. And height is where we're going to be controlling how the height blends with what's going on underneath it. So I haven't actually done this yet. It may not it may not work, but it's worth exploring. So I'm just going to sort of highlight linear dodge. So I'll select the, the top one so we have normal. And then if I just use the down arrow, let's see if I can actually make this work here. I think there's a way that you can cycle through that. There we go. Okay. So you can see so this is inverse divide. We'll just keep going, see what else we're able to generate here. And kind of what I'm looking for is like a replace. But I feel like I've already gone over the top of replace and did not see something that really seemed to solve the problem. So we'll just try this again. So here's our inverse divide. I think that's what that is, inverse divide. And uh, you know, I have no idea what inverse divide is actually doing on the math front. But it seems like it's a little bit too high there, the value, the actual weld value. And it's like we're always going to get something in there because it's the low poly geometry is catching some of the lighting. But maybe we might be able to get something that feels a little less, a little less weird. But that's kind of on the big side too. So I'm going to add a black mask once again. Turn on. So the uh, holding shift gives it this kind of like faceted thing, which isn't really working for me. So I'm going to turn on and make it a little bit smaller. And maybe one thing that will help this feel more successful is rather than hitting exactly where that corner is, I was thinking about going just a little bit above it, but I think that might that might not be terrible. There's something strange about this, how this is working. So that's 0.01 is the height. So maybe if I say like 0 0.005, cut it in half. At that point, I feel like we're losing, we're just losing some of that some of that magic. So I'm going to set this back to, I think linear dodge is the default. Go a little bit bigger with it. And we will increase the height. So you can, you can change the height, but like if I wanted to go in and actually change the brush, I, if once that's, well, I don't know why that didn't stick. Once you've laid the stroke down, you can't update this and have the, the stroke update. So now that I'm looking at it at a smaller scale where those variations and the jitter are less apparent, I kind of want to increase this like a little bit. We'll 
just kind of punch these up too here. So I keep hitting undo and kind of losing my my scale or my my uh, height operation there. Cool. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sort of try to avoid the sharp corners, even though that is where it would show up. Uh, it's just not really it's not paving over the the detail in the way that I would I would expect it to, and by detail I mean that 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 hard edge there. So one thing we can do instead is just kind of come along the perimeter here, carefully. And hopefully we can, oh, you know what? I need to turn on my symmetry as well, because I definitely don't want to do this twice. And you'll never see it from both sides. I mean, I guess it's conceivable. No, not really. All right, so symmetry is turned on. A little bit bigger, and with the lazy mouse, we can get some kind of look on there. Where it feels a little bit smoother, handmade. I got off the line there a little bit. All right, so I'm going to pause the video and just kind of do the rest of this little section here, because I'm sure this is agonizing to watch. All right. So I think that's probably not bad. I skipped this feature here, but I think I need to go over and just Kind of fill it in. So there is the application of our first little welded area. And uh, I think it looks pretty good. It's pretty much what I had in mind, you know, if you kind of look at the reference between the two. It might be fun to go through and punch out some of the paint on top of it at some point. We'll come back and, and do that a little bit later. But uh, for now, we have that in our back pocket and we can come back to applying weld stuff anywhere we want as is appropriate. That might be kind of cool, something like this. Give it like some uh, some suggestion of how the thing was assembled. Maybe they're not both consistent in terms of their thickness. We got a little bit of a of a narrower one, whatever, right? Okay, and it's all just uh, uh, in the mask, so we can very easily go through and change our mind and delete it, and it's, it's all non-destructive, which is one of the main advantages of doing it this way over doing it in the high poly. So uh, in the next video, I think we might do some exploration with whatever material we want to apply to this section. So stick around for that.